Girl, this is kind of cute. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> in my mirror. Welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who are new here, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload, which is every Monday. Today we're just gonna go into just gonna. This is my first time using a Morphe palette, really, other than the Jaclyn Hill. So we're gonna use today. This is the 90 Page Desert palette. So if you wanna see how I got this look using this palette, keep on watching. Jumping right into this um, because I really wanted to get into this palette. I've never used it before. This is actually going to be like my really my first Morphe palette that I'm going to be reviewing today um, and just trying out other than the Jaclyn Hill palette, which they said have different formula, but I don't know. Morphe changed a lot. Even the packaging is like really cute. So this is the 9D Painted Desert palette. We're just going to get into it. I already primed my eyelids. Um, for you who don't know, just my regular Shape Tape and Tencent and my Cover Effects Translucent Powder in Light. Let's get into this. Alright, so this palette, again, this is the 9D Painted Desert Palette. Um, I just saw the colors and they were like, I love them, these warm tones. This is, I believe it's $12, which is really good. And the packaging is really stepped up. It's not like, honestly, BH still has some kind of eh, packaging, but it's still really good. And look, I can't even open it. Oh, shoot. So these are the colors. It has a really good mirror. Like this is what I was talking about in my last video. Like you know, Morphe's mirrors, um, the palettes with their mirrors really stepped up. Not like the uh, that Christian Dominique palette it was a big letdown. But we're moving on. So these are the colors. Really pretty warm tones. Um, you guys, if you know, I'm trying to get into this one. These here. I'm trying to use as many colors as I can. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Um, already do not like um, the names are not. Under the pen, they're not on the back. They're on this little plastic. So I'm assuming it's this way. So the first one is Photo Op, and then it's Vista. This brown is called Overlook. Then it's Bucket List, High Temp, Horizon. What's the last one? Then it's Awestruck. Scenic and panoramic. So those are the names. Um, we're just gonna get right into it, um, just to test it out. Looks, this is a really cute palette, really cheap and affordable, really easy to travel with. So those are all pluses for me. I'm actually gonna try to use this mirror. It's a really nice size mirror. It takes up the whole thing, and I love it. Let's go. I'm gonna go in. Ooh, moving shit, dropping shit, shit. Okay. Right, here we go. My 225, my Lux Blender. Uh, mm, I really want. Oh, this is hard. You know what? I'm just gonna go into this orange shade. It's not really a burnt orange, but what is it called? See, I already lost the damn thing. Here it is. That one is Horizon. So I'm just gonna take that. On my 225 by Zweba, you can just use any fluffy brush. There's a lot of fallout, a lot of fallout in the pan. I really don't care. Um, just be mindful of that. For those who, oh, she's there. She is there. Um, honestly, coming up a little patchy on the side, but let's just blend that into just to be sure. Right in the middle. I'm thinking a cut crease today. I don't know. Just gonna use as many as I can. I'm gonna swatch these shimmers. One looks like a good straight glitter. We're gonna use that. All right, she's on. That was Horizon. There's quite a lot of kick up in the pan. Um, not too much on the face, which is fine. I'm gonna take the same brush, uh, my same suit. I'm just gonna clean it off. This is just the. It's really a color switch. But this is the Ulta version. I'm just going to clean off my brush a little. I just want to use the same brush. And I'm actually going to go into that light orange shade. It's like a cream sickle color. Um, what the hell is it called? See, this is annoying because when I want to tell you guys, you know, it's hard. 
It's called panoramic. So I'm just going to go in with panoramic and kind of just buff out the edges just to soften it up. It's a lot of blow Just a little, just to get that color up there. Um, you see it right away, which is good. Just want a little bit. Just want to use as many colors as I can. It's probably like a mustard. But it's cute. Just gonna do it with the other side. These, do you see it? It's like really powdery. These shadows. All right. I don't really care for that in yellow too much. It didn't really a mustard. Whatever. Panoramic. That's what it's called. Um, I have these better. But definitely gets the job done. They work well together. Kind of, you can see it, but it kind of does just like blend out just a little. But maybe that's just um, with the way that I use them. Maybe another way is better. I'm actually just gonna deepen up the crease. This is my 231 Lux Crease Brush, and I'm gonna go into this. I don't know. It's like a blood orange color. I don't know what it's really called. And I'm kind of really annoyed with picking up that little piece of plastic just to tell you. I'll do it, but it's like, seriously, this is so annoying. Oh, it's called High Town. This is a similar to what it is in that the Sephora Pro Palette. That was really annoying too. These have a lot of fallout. Just keep that in mind. I'm just going to go right in the crease. And just deepen that up. Now, the color story of this palette is really pretty. And it's like very fall. Even though here in New York we skipped fall and it's winter, it's freezing. Freezing. Alright. I'm just gonna keep. Um, I don't know, these just make me. It's just not bright. Um, so I'm a little. Eh, but they look cute, they do. And I'm just gonna. See, a petite crease brush is like perfect. Any. any um, crease brush that you have that's really tapered at the end just to really get in the crease just so you can place that color there right, so I just went back in with my fluffy brush and just hit that orange a little bit and just buffed out the edges some more just so that it's not harsh I think now um, I'm gonna head into this color up here this is so annoying to me Vista whatever I think it's Vista if it's not Vista too bad it's gonna be Vista what is this? My 227. What is this? A soft definer. Whatever. You can take any brush that you want. I just like to use this brush for the outer corner. And you can just see. Just like one top. And it's very powdery. Just to just. Let's see it. Oh, okay. She's there. And don't worry if it gets like on the lid. I'm gonna cut the crease. I decided, but yeah. Just like the outer corner, and you can see the fallout there. Just wide and put down any foundation. I really can't, like, I feel like it's just always gonna be fallout. So just, just to be safe, I do not do my base first. I feel like those colors just kind of ran into each other. Um, you can see it, it's there, but I feel like it just like, became one. So I'm just going to take this Morphe brush and hit that brown. And just softly, just to deepen up the outer corner. I want nothing too crazy, but I feel like you just really could not see any difference. Now I see it. Now I'm happy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back and forth and just go back in and blend it out with that. My soft definer brush. I'm not going to add any more product, just wanted to blend out, and I'm this, I usually don't ever care about kick up in the pan, but this is like, it's, it's a little messy, it is, so just please keep that in mind, but also keep in mind that this is $12, so just, I honestly would just deal with it, I'm going to. Buffing this back out just a little. I'm gonna go in. I feel like I'm just gonna go back in and hit some of that. What's that color? It's called Panoramic. This one here. Just to buff it out some more. I feel like the colors got lost in this. I don't want that. This is not the brush. 
my fluffy brush. I'm not even gonna clean it off. Here we are. Just so that it can be seen. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the crease and we're gonna get into one of these. I don't know which one yet, these little shimmer shades. So far we're doing pretty good. So far we used five of these colors, five of the nine, so we're doing it, we're doing it. All right, really quick, just cut crease, I'm done. Um, I don't know which one to use, I'm, one of these is going to be used. So I'm just gonna swatch it. Oh, this one is like copper. Like a yeah, gold. Hopefully you can see that. So I I'm gonna go with this one, this more gold, like a, not the copper one. Um, usually they work best with a finger, but I don't feel like doing all that. I'm just gonna take a flat brush. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> I'm just gonna it and I don't like it right we're gonna use the finger that I didn't want to use okay so I did apply better with the finger I did go in and just pick it up on that brush you see that it's a it's a mess and that's fine I'm just gonna go back in just to buff out the edges a little bit just hit that brown to blend them together it's cute it looks a mess now because all the fallout and whatever we're gonna clean that up i'm gonna leave it like this <laughs> really i want to throw some glitter on there but um this is cute this is cute too so i'm just gonna do that blend it out i'm just gonna clean up yeah clean all this shit up um go ahead with my foundation come back do the waterline smoke at the bottom I'm thinking eyeliner, yeah, eyeliner. So we're just gonna clean that up and we'll be right back. Foundation is on, I just went ahead and did my concealer as well and I set that so it's my shape tape, yeah, shape tape <laughs> and tan and my Make Revolution Banana Powder. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Hmm. All right, so yeah, so we're just gonna, oops, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna take, I think I'm just gonna go in with that. This is panoramic, I remember, because it was pissing me off. I think I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner towards the middle. These are so powdery. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm also gonna throw on some black eyeliner. I just thought of that, I don't know why I didn't remember, but I'm gonna do that. So just on the inner corner. I'm just gonna go in, yeah, right, same brush, I'm not even gonna it off, that high temp color for the middle. I'm gonna blend those two together. Because that panorama color wasn't really doing it for me. Out and it hates me so oh, actually for foundation 
I use my Make Revolution um, stick foundation in F12 and F13 because I don't know what's going on. My face is usually really oily, but it's been so cold that it's been drying out. So, ugh. Foundations change with the weather. I'm gonna go ahead and just finally stop talking. I'm just gonna wing this out and do some, um, hit my water on just some black eyeliner. Now the eyeliner is on and I clearly got carried away. <laughs> I actually brought it down just, just more towards my nose, whatever. I don't care. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and actually um, hit, use that Austro color, this one, just to hit the inner corner if I can find my little, just a little flat brush. So these kind of brushes are perfect for just the inner corner. I'm just going to go in. I like it. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and just just outline the eyeliner that I put down. Because I'm who I think I am. No idea. And I was just saying, oh yeah, something wearable, something <laughs> not so dramatic. And then I do this. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Kind of took away from the eyeliner a little bit. I'm just gonna go over that some more. And finish my face, I'll be right back. All right, this is the final look. Doing some lashes, contoured, highlight, no blush today. Um, on my, my lashes again, these are the Pretty and Me Duty lashes in the style Angel, one of my favorites. It's going to be linked down below. On my lips, I actually use the Dose of Colors um, Matte Lips Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in Nude Moon. I just, um, whoa. And I just line my lips with the NYX um, Matte Lip Liner in Los Angeles. And I just topped it off with this ColourPop lip gloss. This is in my jam it's a metallic one just a little bit um i always have a new lip just wanted to do something a little different this is one of my favorites to use as a lip topper it's really cute so overall i really like this palette um it's 12 dollars what's there to not to like it's um oh i tell you what there's not to like this this is so annoying this is annoying um please company stop doing this because it's hard you're trying to explain what colors you're using i mean like it's fine if you're not gonna just if you're not doing a tutorial if people are not gonna ask you what color that is that's fine um but this is extremely annoying it's hard like uh just to it's stupid there's a lot of kick up in the pan if that's something that bothers you then this may not be it but it's it's small it's 12 dollars it's a great mirror the quality mirror is really good easy to travel with and um i really like it so i think i'm just gonna buy a couple more of these palettes if there are any palettes that you want me to review or uh, yeah whether they're morphe any other palettes if you want me to review them just uh, let me know leave a comment down below and you can hit me up on instagram be sure to follow comment like subscribe hit that notification bell right now we're uploading every monday every monday i'm not skipping a beat but if you want more uploads, I'm thinking about adding a day. I'm not sure which day to add as yet. So you can just also leave that in the comments down below. If any of you try out these looks, anything that I, any look that, um, that I do on this channel, anything from my Instagram, you try out any of these looks, tag me in and I want to see. Um, if there's any looks that you want me to recreate, you can tag me in those too um, on Instagram or just let me know in the comments below. Yeah, this is it. I'm. I think I'm gonna buy a couple more of these. I hope there's more colors. This was the um, again the 9D painted desert. Um, I want more fun colors. I did not buy the James Charles palette. Um, I just didn't care for it. Um, now there's a mini. I don't. I don't know. Whatever. So we'll see. Again, thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.